what is up you incredible person watching this video right now let's jump straight into it mishoku tensei episode two and three that'll be the reaction today the first episode was zero and one so today's obviously two and three if you like mishoku tensei give it a like subscribe if you want to see more reactions to it and obviously hit the notification bell so that you actually stay up to date without further ado let's jump straight into this we're doing two episodes today i'm super amped let's go okay here we go who's this Oh, it's Rudus. Tenderless. So he named his legs. Oh, so this is a few months since. Oh, he's actually getting into super good shape. Let's go, Rudy. Bro is looking jacked right now. Hulk and Hercules. So this is six months. So you're seeing someone completely different to who he was before, you know? The Drake infestation at Elbrin Cave. Drake's is obviously dragons. What do we have on the leaderboard today? Quagmire. Okay, so now people already know him slightly. I wonder what happened to Sara and Suzanne. <laughs> oh my gosh, Master Rock. Man, this OST, beautiful already. Like, as it started, I felt it. And not just that, it's also just doing handiwork around the town, shoveling snow. Oh my goodness. Oh, there she is. She obviously likes him at this point. She's waiting for him. Oh wow, now she's asking him to join in. Counter Arrow, that was the, the name. It gives me the creeps just for being polite. I forgot the names, but I know it's Murmur, is the healer, and then the leader I think was Timothy, and I don't know who the big, the other swordsman was, the guy who partners with Suzanne. Oh yes, the demon continent. Do you like architecture? So she's like, even though she's being moody with him, she's like also finding things out about him. Oh, get off me. Oh my gosh, Rudis. <laughs> oh my gosh, this guy. Although he did save your life, but I'm sure he would have been able to see where to grab her as well. You know what I'm saying? Drake scales. Oh my goodness. Snow Drake territory. Nice. I love dragons. So fighting them is obviously tough, right? So don't engage. But I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if they got into a fight with them. Oh, it's her. The demon empress. There's a dragon coming through, brother. Oh my goodness. That many. It looks like a Komodo dragon. That's a massive wall. So his magic has obviously gotten way stronger. Oh, nice. They left him. Wow. There's so many of them. Oh. The long range magic user, Timothy. And range, range or archer, range attack user sara oh patrice oh let's go oh they're going off the rudis get your head out of the clouds who's that oh this is the guy from the tavern he was talking about the what the albron cave wow slaughtered massacred but why do i have a feeling that this guy is not to be trusted he almost looks like he could be like Oh! Swipe out, pray, wow. He was talking about Elbron Cave. Ilbron Cave. Oh, so it's not even the same cave. Oh, so it's Link. What I was saying is, doesn't he look like he could be family of Rudus? Like a brother or something? Like he looks like Paul. He reminds me so much of Paul for some reason. <laughs> That's the thing. Like, she's sitting next to him as well. It's not even like, oh, come celebrate with us. I'm going to be on this side of the table. You over there. You rush to help before any of us. That's hilarious. <laughs> it's going to be interesting if her and Eris ever meet. 
Oh my goodness, was I not saying that? Was I not saying that? This guy reminds me so much of Paul. Like he could be Brutus's like half brother or something. Guy's super drunk. Whoa, dude's calling him out straight. But look how he's holding in his anger. Oh my goodness. So it's crazy, it's like this whole buildup of his reputation with the town folk has at the same time created this other effect with this other dude, Sol, I think his name was, to where he just hates him. Mima and Sara, what happened to them? What? No ways. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Well, that. Oh my goodness, you know leader Timothy, that's for sure. That was... Wow, man. Go get Arudas. Try a forest to the west. Snow buffalo, wow. I don't know, I hope she's not dead, but... I don't think she would be, but... I mean, all bad... I mean, sorry, Murmur, the healer, but... He wasn't even in the whole episode up until that point. So, but if Sara died, I would have been upset. Wow, don't care if she's alive or dead. Oh! Whoa! He's so strong, but he still has that attitude. He's probably gonna find Murmur. Oh my goodness, completely disemboweled and incapacitated. Well, not incapacitated, murdered, but... But all those bones? Wow. What is he gonna bury him? Oh, that's her earring, I think it is. Can't he use his eye to, like, I don't know, look at someone's energy that's imbued into an item that they have? Oh, what is this? Oh, there she is! Let's go, Rudas. Man, the animation is so good. Whoa. So what is this? It's like the actual forest itself. I think I did see something about the title of this episode or something forest, but I, I was trying not to read it. Oh my goodness. He saved her. Smacks him. <laughs> oh no. That would just... I mean, you would just be a piece of shit. Oh... Hey, Rudus, no surprise. But he is healing her. Oh, because the clothes has to dry. You can get sick. Wow, she's smiling at him. Murmur's gone. Here's his head. I wrapped it in a cloth. At least say thank you, Sara. <gasps> she missed it. Wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> and just like that, all that sort of animosity, the frustration you have for that person completely swaps over and you like her, you know? Or, I mean, you like him in case, in her case. Well, he didn't make it seem like he was hiding it. Oh, wow. Timothy's not a leader. The guy's a wimp. Let, okay, that's the end of the episode. Rudus needs to be the leader of Count Arrow. See you later. It's beautiful. Definitely beautiful moment for Rudy. I mean, after what he just went through. Oh my gosh. Always with the drawers. Forest in the dead of night. That's what it is. So yeah, really good episode. I like that. We finally saw that Sara basically dropped her guard. Well, she had to. Ruta saved her from what looked like a crazy forest. The forest itself looked like it was alive. And, and that was what was killing those snow buffalo. Because I looked at that and I was like, okay, Murmur's dead. They got attacked by snow buffalo. But what's killing the buffalo? It was actually the forest itself using actual trees and throwing ice and all types of stuff anyways let's just jump into the next episode episode three great work again today so they've just been doing missions and she's just smiling at him since that night i've been working with counter arrow almost constantly quagmire rudas Oh my goodness. We still haven't seen... Oh, the jealousy starts. 
<laughs> so I'm um, changing the topic. That's hilarious. Do you want to come with me to buy a new knife? Ah. Uh, it's a date. <laughs> exactly that's the thing about this anime is so this ost is beautiful i want to get the song itself i actually want to make like a full list of all my favorite ones man i really like that opening that's <laughs> rudis is kryptonite I always end up wind up drinking too much when we together. Is this what I think it is? <laughs> a shot. Yeah, put the past behind you, brother. Paul. <laughs> Paul's son. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Is she gonna find Roxy's drawers? I wonder. Oh boy. Oh my goodness. This bro. Wow. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's one of the worst things. Now he's probably going to become friends with Soul. I would be having a bad day as well if that happened to me. Getting all that frustration out because he still hasn't gotten over Eris. So now it's no matter like how he thinks he feels, it's still there, you know. He saw it with sorrow. And now Soul's gonna see the pain and realize, you know, he needs to probably be there for someone like him. Maybe he sees himself in him type of thing. Is that Conrad? <laughs> Drink up. <laughs> that's the thing like you know obviously i wanted things to go better for rudis but it's not gonna be that easy to get over that hump this guy reminds me so much of paul it's crazy is this the first person that he's telling this is obviously a good start you know to get it off your chest oh my gosh is he going to where i think he's going ladies of the night so they even know him out here Oh, that her sister's the one that tripped and fell. It's probably still not gonna help. He didn't get it done. Frightened. Oh, wow. It's, it's like, that's what I was saying. It's a psychological thing. Wow, they were there all evening. Oh, my word. She's right there. Oh my goodness. Well, that just completely took the way she feels and threw it in the toilet. Oh. Wow. Oh, what? She got him. Oh, the blade that was sharpened. This dude can just. It can't win. Oh my word. Oh my goodness. Rudus is just a mess. Honestly. Oh, he's gonna go with them now. But I mean, um, it's also. A huge labyrinth turned up. But what I'm saying is that I'm also annoyed that I thought he was going to get at least some sort of victory. And now it's like he's even further back than when he started. But at least we saw what he's able to do with his magic and his actual fighting ability has improved tenfold. So that's going to be good to see. But on a more personal level, it's like I'm sitting here and I'm like I'm rooting for Rude. It's like something good to happen to him after what just happened you know and i mean with errors but it looks like it's just not there yet oh my goodness wow i mean very slow as you can see these first these first episodes of mashoko are very slow but they're also delving deep into rudis's his psyche and just how he is actually affected by it and you know and that's the thing it's like you can feel how he's so affected by it and i'm sitting here and i'm rooting for him i'm like i just want this guy things to pick up for him you know after what happened with Eris, like I was saying earlier. And then even things with Sara started getting so much better. And then, I mean, he went out and he saved her. That was an amazing fight scene, that animation with him. And even just against the snow dragons, we saw what he was capable of doing. And then it's like, it's almost like it's just too good to be true to see something happen for him. And then, you know, it really shows you how deep within him he's been hurt. And so he's going to have to get over that. And now it just seems like he's even 
even worse than he was off before after those things that he said and she was actually there and she heard him and had actually brought his blade to him or had brought him a blade can't really remember i'll have to watch that again but yeah i mean i'm really amped to see more and more of these episodes it's a it's a nice build up and that's what i love about this show it, it builds up slowly and really get to invested in each and every one of the characters we saw that murmur was killed although he didn't really have any big moments we saw him he healed suzanne um in the second episode or episode one but you know that's just the life of being an adventurer is that you know people die all the time but now we see him he met soul a guy who didn't like him and who i think reminds me a lot of paul rudis's father but they're gonna go off on a quest now themselves so we'll see what happens with that should be really good but anyways other than that if you like the episode give it a like subscribe if you want to see more mashoka tensei uh, it's one of my favorite shows of all time and hit the notification bell to stay up to date that's going to be all for me i'm out peace in a bit